You want more subscribers, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you how to get more subscribers and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick from TuberTools.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So of course, if you wanna be a content creator, then you gotta learn the process or what's involved or how to generate subscribers for your YouTube channel, right? Well, look, if you are just starting out or you are trying to get the ball rolling, so to speak, on getting subscribers coming in on a regular basis, you need to make sure to watch this entire video. Okay, at the very top of the list, you do not have to have amazing looking content. I mean, it has to be good enough, but most importantly, it has to resonate with people. People are not gonna subscribe to your channel just because you're putting video content out there. It's really important that you understand that there's an exchange that's taking place. Viewers are exchanging their time for your content, so it's really important to make sure that you're making that content that resonates with them so it makes it worth it. And here's the thing, when it comes to getting subscribers on YouTube, when you make content that people enjoy, the entire process becomes easy for you. YouTube even promotes you more. They publicly say that instead of worrying about what the algorithm likes, worry about what the audience likes and the algorithm will follow. That means that if people enjoy your content, YouTube, the platform, the website is more likely to put your content in front of more people, which you can then hopefully turn into subscribers. Now, in order to get this whole ball rolling in the first place, it's important that you do make your content as good as you have the ability to in terms of how it looks, how it sounds, what's actually going on in the videos, how you edit your videos and so on. And that exchange that I was talking about a second ago in terms of them watching your content and exchanging their time to watch your content, like that whole thing when that happens, that time is where it's a very good idea to make sure that you're keeping in mind when you're making your content that, hey, these people are exchanging their time to watch my content, so I need to make sure that I'm making it worth it. And if it's worth their time, then there's a really good chance that they're gonna subscribe and keep coming back and watching more and more of your content. Next up on the list is you gotta get the ball rolling. You have to get some initial views coming in because here's the thing, the algorithm needs data to lean on in order to know who to serve your content to, in order to know how people are responding to your content. But, but if nobody's watching your videos, those five views that you're getting, it's not gonna give the algorithm enough data to really work with. So your job as a content creator, somebody that wants to get more subscribers here on YouTube, you have to find places online that you can share your content. And I do not mean spamming, I mean sharing. There's a humongous difference between the two. Let me explain. Sharing is basically where you are a part of a community of some kind, people are looking for solutions to problems or they're sharing things that they're interested in and your content fits into that and your content is invited because it directly applies to the content being shared in that particular community. As an example, if you're a gamer and you're focused all of your gaming efforts on Fortnite, then you need to find every possible Fortnite outlet on the internet and start integrating yourself into those communities. That way, when somebody says, oh, hey, has anybody here figured out how to do this, that, and the other thing? You can say, actually, yes, I have figured out how to do this, that, and the other thing. Thank you. Here's a video that will actually show you how to do it yourself. Spamming, on the other hand, is to where you are putting your content in places that it is not invited. It is not wanted. You're just throwing your content at people and hoping that they watch it. As much effort as you might be putting into that, thinking that you're sharing, people don't respond to that. People are not gonna watch your video just because you put it somewhere, right? It has to add value to them. There has to be a reason that they need to or want to click on the video that you are sharing, not spamming or you're throwing the videos at them. Okay, so you're not throwing videos at anybody, but you know what I mean. Basically where you're just putting content out there and you're saying, hey, here's a Facebook group that talks about, uh, you know, share for share on YouTube. Well, guess what? If you're putting your content there, you're actually doing yourself more of a dis service than you are a service, so stop. Next up on this list, number three, if you wanna generate subscribers, an actual active real community around what it is that you're doing, it's extremely important that you answer all of your comments. Duh, Nick, that's so basic, I know that already. I know, I'm just saying, cause some people don't, so I just have to get that in here, but here's the thing with that. When you are just starting out your channel and you are just starting to get some momentum going on your channel, that core group, those original people that you're always interacting with and all of that, 
those people are going to end up becoming the core of your community. As your channel starts getting bigger, it becomes increasingly difficult to stay on top of your comments and create those personal connections with the people that are watching your videos where when your channel is smaller, you can have a lot of really good conversations. You can like actually get to know a lot of really cool people just by interacting with them in your comments. And you can do this as your channel gets bigger as well. It just requires a lot more time and you have to be a lot more mindful in terms of recognizing people, you know, like, oh, this person seems to be commenting on a lot of my videos and then that's kind of how people stand out that way. But you're watching this because you're trying to learn how to get subscribers, so moving on. If you're trying to get subscribers on YouTube, it's important to remember that you are always exchanging something with the viewer and in turn for their subscribe, for their view or whatever. The currency, so to speak, for that value that you're giving right away, the immediate currency in our case here on YouTube is somebody clicking that subscribe button. So if you're getting a lot of views, but you're not converting those views into subscribers, what that means is that means that for whatever reason, maybe it's in how you communicate, maybe it's the style of the video, maybe the information isn't solid enough, maybe it's not entertaining enough, maybe you think it is, but maybe viewers don't think it's entertaining enough to where they feel like they are getting enough value out of your content to hit the subscribe button. Because remember, it's about the viewer. It's about if the viewer can relate to you or not. It's about if the viewer can understand what you're talking about or not. It's about if you're making content that the viewers are actually wanting to watch in the first place. And here's how it works. People are subscribing for that immediate value that you're giving them, or they're subscribing because they like you. They've watched a handful of your videos and they're like, wow, I really like this person's personality. I'm going to subscribe to them and just whatever they put out, I'm going to come back and watch because I find it entertaining in some way or I just happen to relate to this particular creator more than maybe the other creators in the niche. Niche. Whatever. But in terms of being relatable, what you wanna do is you would just wanna think about how am I communicating in my videos for the audience that I'm trying to reach? Am I trying to reach like-minded people, people that are into the same topics that I am, people that are communicating in a similar way, people that have the same core values as I do, people that are just into the same stuff that I am? And if so, be cool. Just talk to people and just interact and just be cool. That's how you generate a community. That's how you generate subscribers. That's how you generate people that are into what it is that you're doing, that value and the relatability and the just on-camera presence. It's important that you work with that also. And just the idea of them just being able to connect with you as a human being. And of course, if you wanna get subscribers, well, you gotta get views because if you can't get people coming in and watching your stuff, then you're not gonna be able to generate any subscribers. So I have a video that I'll link to right up here about how to get views, but there's also some tools that you can use to help you learn how to rank your videos in search, to help you actually rank your videos in search and do a bunch of other things in terms of optimization to make your chances of getting views higher. TubeBuddy and Morning Fame are two fantastic examples. I'll put links to them down in the description below and I highly recommend that you check both of them out. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.